Hey there guys, and how are you all doing today? As usual, my name's Rob, aka Chrome Magic, and how are you doing? It's been a long time. It's been about a month since I put up my last video, but I've decided to give it another shot. I've been refreshed from a month away from the YouTube scene and everything like that. Still been watching videos, but not been creating content, and... There's a couple of reasons why, but first of all I just want to say I am back, I'm better than ever, hopefully you'll still be enjoying my content and I haven't changed in any way, but one of the reasons why I haven't been posting lately is because I fell out of love with Call of Duty and gaming as a whole, and it made it hard for me to get online, get gameplays, to force myself to make and be making videos, so I decided rather than that, I was going to do sort of like have a break between making videos and I think it will eventually uh, turn out for the better for me because if I carried on making videos I was just going to get bored of it, I hadn't got anything to say and it was just going to make my content really crap but another reason why I hadn't been posting was because I was actually struggling to find the time to play because I was doing 50 hours a week um, before I went on holiday so that I could make up the money for when I went on holiday for two weeks and that meant that I was working a lot of hours in the day and I didn't want to come out, come on and work even harder by playing games, trying to get gameplays I just wanted to chill out, watch some TV and go to bed before I start the next day so it meant that I wasn't playing as much, I wasn't getting any gameplays but I'm back now so at the end of the day it was just one of those things hopefully you guys will still support me as much as you ever have done before you've all been, been fantastic there's been a couple more subscribers since and this is a celebration as well I've hit the 150 subscriber mark I've got to say thank you to each and every one of you who have sub subscribed to me you're all legends I love you all fantastic just please keep up the support and if you like my videos then don't hesitate to share them because at the end of the day that's the main reason for getting bigger that's the main way to get bigger word of mouth if you don't tell people about me I'm not going to become big because I can't say I'm not wanting to become big anyway before anyone gets the wrong idea what I want to do is just get as many subscribers as I can to be able to show my stuff sort of thing I'm not bothered about the money I'm not bothered about the fame as such, I just want to um, help improve and maybe make a few people's days a little bit better. But at the end of the day, yeah, if you like the video then please don't hesitate to share it with your friends um, and try and help me get a few more subscribers. So, as I said, I've been working so it meant that I didn't have time to um, play but then I went on holiday for two weeks to Dawlish which is in Devon. It's sort of like... A countryside area where you can go on walks and just chill out and get away from everyday life you know city life and I have to say it was boring in the second week and I think that I will always be a city boy I'll always be a fan of the rat race that comes with city life um, I just didn't like having nothing to do I love the internet as you guys all know because I'm a gamer and I just love the whole everything being on top of you. You can go up the road to um, get to a JJB Sports. I mean, we spent a good hour and a half looking for a JJB Sports and still couldn't find one. So you can tell how bad it is that out there. But I'll always be a city boy. And that's that pretty much. Um, the holiday itself was amazing. I managed to play some career mode of FIFA and... I've sort of fell in love with that mode again. Um, it's just fantastic being able to play as Cov and actually win something because they're never going to happen in real life. And going on to winning something, how bloody amazing have the Team GB um, done in the Olympics? It's been fantastic for us to have hosted it. I wish I could have got to one or two games at the city of Coventry Stadium, also known as, or better known as, the Rico Arena for all you Cov fans. And it would have been fantastic for me to have gone there, but I was on holiday when all of the games were happening, so unfortunately it wasn't to be. 
but I just want to say a massive congratulations to Team GB because they've done fantastic. I don't think we'll ever have during our lifetime a, a more successful Olympic Games. It's been fantastic to watch it, to support the lads. Um, if you are a fan of Team GB, then congratulations to you as well because one thing that I think has buoyed the team on and spurred them on to get so many gold medals and do so well is the fans we have the best fans in the world without a doubt um, the UK and Ireland are fantastic in terms of fan base and it's just been fantastic that we could represent and show the world how an Olympic event should be done and how it should take place the football not been fantastic I think we got to the quarterfinals and got knocked out in the men's uh, tournament which wasn't the best but uh, what do you expect it's the first time that we've had a team GB and we did wear our heart on our sleeves we wanted to win and we did play well I mean David Beckham again arguably should have been there but uh, just because of the fact that he's a great ambassador for the Olympic Games and he was one of the main icons to bring the Olympic Games to London but that's another topic it's all been undone now it's too late to dwell on whether he should have played or not but yeah fantastic play to Team GB fantastic it's brilliant uh, I'm so proud to be British right now because we're third in the table and we've only got a population of 500 million people sorry 50 million people not 500 that's overstating it 50 million people 60 million people around that and we're third in the table that means in theory on medal to population we should be top of the table because obviously less people gold medals more gold medals it means that um, there's more million there's less millions of people per gold, gold medal if that makes sense you you know what I mean um, but we've done fantastically as I say I don't think during our lifetime we will ever see such a great performance again and it's just been a pleasure for it to have happened in London as well because our home ground and we performed so bloody well guys if you want to just think about it for a while celebrate when the Olympic Games is over maybe I don't know buy a shirt to show that you're a supporter of Team GB because they really really do deserve it they've done fantastically well and um, I'm just gonna wrap up by saying I'm working on getting the posts up again getting the videos together getting um, the library of uh, footage and hopefully during the next uh, couple of months I'll keep on gaining the will and the determination to post more and in theory I'm trying to post one uh, well two or three videos a week in practice I don't know how it'll happen because I don't know what will happen with work but I can promise that there will be another video within the next two or three days explaining how to have fun in COD again and it will work trust me it will be brilliant you if you do it you'll enjoy cod again um and one of the main things is go for challenges and play different game types i know it sounds stupid but so many people play the same game type i was the same i played face off for ages and team deathmatch and i'm now playing different game types and suddenly it's just become more fun again so also with the buff of the M16 and stuff like that, there's guns that you normally you wouldn't use and you're doing alright with now. So keep on playing. Black Ops 2 comes out in a couple of months. The trailer for that was absolutely fantastic. Looks amazing, I have to admit. I can't wait to see through the walls, see people through walls, because I get sick and tired of all of the campers. Even though it's a legit strategy, I'm not going to complain about the camping as a strategy but it's just annoying when you're a rusher you run around the corner and get shot at the end of the day they bought the game they should be able to play it how they want to play it in my opinion um, again thank you for the 150 subs it's fantastic to know that I am making progress even though I haven't been posting which is kind of funny really but let's aim for the 200 mark come on guys share the video let's get 200 uh, subscribers as soon as possible 
And again, thank you for the support. I love each and every one of you. So, we're coming to the end of the gameplay. And this was, of course, a face-off on um, the Vortex. And we won by 30 tags to 14 because there was only 30 seconds left. So, I decided to grab the last tag. You'll see the kill here. Sorry about the darkness. The reason why that happened was my, my Xbox went into idle mode. So, I went... 40 and 12 i think it was so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video guys remember rate comment and if you haven't already click the subscribe button see you later take care